uh, let's continue with the uh, uh, rotational mechanical system, which is one of the type of mechanical system that we cover in these topics. Okay, um, as you can see there, okay, the difference uh, between uh, rotationals and uh, translational systems is on considering a uh, uh, mass for the case of translational system, but for the uh, rotational system, uh, it will consider the inertia. So the components for the rotational mechanical system uh, uh, is divided into three uh, components, which is a spring, a viscous damper, and inertia. Okay, so we take a look on the uh, uh, time domain equation. As you can see here, okay, the base of um, uh, for this uh, rotational mechanical system is the torque. So, if compared to the uh, uh, translational system, is more on the uh, uh, force vector. But for this uh, uh, mechanical system components, uh, the main uh, component that we need to look at is it, is the torque of the systems because they consider the uh, rigid body movement or rotating okay <coughs> so for the case of the spring uh, okay for the case of the spring uh, as you can see there uh, in this uh, torque mechanical system they divide it into two form which is torque angular velocities and torque uh, angular displacements so uh, the difference here between a translational system and the uh, rotational mechanical system is that rotational mechanical system will consider the torque and the angular motions so either the angular velocity or angular displacement okay for the case of the spring so they are intense to 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 get the uh, the, the angular uh, uh, displacement to multiply with the with the uh, k spring constants and also, and for the case of viscosity damper, they will look at the uh, uh, angular velocity, which is uh, represented as omega for this case. Uh, <coughs> so then, um, this omega. So for the case of torque angular velocity, they just multiply with the coefficient. But for the case of the torque displacement, uh, needs to derive. Uh, uh, derive the the angular uh, the current angular with the time <coughs> so uh, for the case of inertia so the torque will be determined uh, in the form of torque angular velocity by uh, deriving the uh, uh, deriving the uh, uh, omega with uh, with the time and multiply with the inertia of the moment inertia of the of the of the rigid body okay or i can say here or of the uh, torso okay so uh, for the case of uh, torque angular displacement then they need to derive uh, means double derive the uh, angular uh, angular displacements uh, with uh, uh, a double time so then they will multiply with the inertia so same as a translational systems uh, this rotational system also have in the form of Laplace transform that can be tabulated as you can see here okay so this form will be used uh, will be used in the uh, each method or uh, each method of uh, deriving the uh, the uh, transfer function which is uh, for this sub for this topic we we cover the uh, FBD and the um, and the uh, EMI method okay so so we go for the uh, FBD method uh, for the rotational mechanical system let's say we consider the uh, uh, single torso system with a single uh, inner uh, single uh, torso uh, with inertia J and the angular uh, theta and the torque apply T and with the uh, d viscous damper okay so by looking on the direction of the rotational so we can draw the fbd as follows whereby the applied torque um, will be uh, 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 opposite direction with the uh, torque uh, 
due to the friction um, and torque uh, due to the moment of inertia. Okay, for this case, we uh, for this example, uh, they don't have the uh, uh, spring, so there is no uh, torque for spring needs to be considered. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so next for uh, by ref with reference to the uh, Newton's third law, so then we can arrange the equations uh, whereby the uh, uh, the uh, as you can see here the impedance of the the torque can be written as this one, which is the torque the torque for the um, the torque for uh, the torque by inertia is here and the torque uh, with a damper is here okay so this is the applied torque okay this is the applied torque so then we by then by by using this newton uh, third law we can rearrange to get the transfer function as we know we need to determine which one is the input which one is is the output of the system and of course for this case of rotational system the torque applied uh, or the torque given is the input of the systems so it's become a uh, uh, denominator and numerator is the uh, is the theta the angular which is uh, the output of the system okay here so by uh, this arrangements and uh, we can get the final transfer function for the for the example uh, in the in the previous figure as this one okay all right so so uh, uh, we go to the next uh, level of uh, uh, the torso system which is uh, on the two degree of freedom of torso systems okay so we have a two uh, two torso system with indicates by the j1 and j2 as you can see here so the J1 is connected with J2 with the spring K and the, uh, uh, the, the J1 is moving uh, the uh, angular uh, displacement as a t theta 1 and J2 for as a theta 2. And then J1 is connected to the wall with a damper 1 and J2 connected to the wall uh, with D2. So here I will aim to, to find the uh, uh, transfer function uh, for the torque of the system that according to the theta 2 all right so we go uh, to the first step uh, by using fbd that uh, concentrate on the j1 which is uh, firstly we need to uh, determine the torque flow uh, for the for the j1 due to the only uh, of the motion of the j1 which is we need to find the impedance of the j1s uh, that according to the torque given T okay so of course the impedance of the J1 is uh, opposite uh, flow with the torque given okay and then we find the um, J1 due to the only uh, to the motion of the J2 uh, which is related to the J2 and uh, as we can see here only spring with the K constants is related between J1 and J2 but for the case of J1, uh, according to the J2, so we need to use the angular motion or angular uh, displacements of the J2, uh, which is uh, theta 2. And then we combine both uh, flows, we can get the final FBD for the J1 only. So then, by using this flow, we can uh, get the relation uh, of the third Newton's law for the J1s as follows and we try to rearrange uh, uh, as you can see in equation A we try to rearrange uh, 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 the, 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 the equation into theta1, theta2 and Ts okay so next we go to the J2 so the J2 that's the same flow as the J1 we need to uh, find the torque flow for the J2 according to the motion of J2 itself and then the J2 with the J1 and then we combine both uh, flows and we can get the final FBD for the J2 only and then we go to the 
uh, Newton's third law, we can get its um, uh, equation, form of equation of the relation between uh, uh, between uh, between the theta one, theta two, and the torque itself. Uh, for this case, uh, uh, the torque given T is not on the J two, so they don't have a torque T in the J two equations. So we is try to rearrange as uh, simple as possible to make uh, uh, in in the form uh, theta one in the form of the theta two. Okay. Because uh, the final target uh, of this uh, transfer function, we want to get the torque uh, transfer function of torque of this torso system according to the theta two only. Okay, from the equation A and equation B, so simply we can get the final uh, uh, transfer function of the uh, torque according to the theta two, as you can see here. Okay, this one you can verify using the MATLAB system, MATLAB software. Uh, if you want to see the the, the, the response or something else, um, by um, which is uh, we will we will be learned in the chapter four. Uh, uh, next, next uh, we go to the another method which is EMI method, whereby uh, for this case of rotational systems. Uh, we use the uh, sum of impedance uh, connected to the motions and the sum of the applied torques. Okay, so for this case, uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, earlier, so um, the resistance motions is uh, becoming the impedance uh, motion of the torso systems uh, that equal to the torque according to the Newton's uh, third Newton's law. Okay, so in the uh, EMI systems, we need to find the uh, sum of impedance connected to the motion at uh, certain theta and then uh, multiply with the uh, certain states or uh, angular, um, angular motions, uh, uh, certain angular motions, then and um, equal to the sum to, of applied or the certain torque of the angular. Okay, this is similar to the mesh network in electrical systems also. Okay, so uh, just to take the short uh, for this explanations because it's almost same as the translational systems. So the impedance uh, we arrange like this. Okay, so the torque, um, impedance torque, as uh, the sum of impedance torques is equal to the torque of for the certain theta. For this case, we have a three, uh, three DOF or degree of freedom of torso system. We have J1, J2, and J3 with the same flow of torque as you can see there. So, which is theta one uh, applied torque, theta two and theta three have the same flow or same pulls of rotational. Um, and connected uh, each other either with the uh, 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 spring or the damper as you can see there. So we can get the form of equation for this, uh, this system uh, as follows. So then uh, from this form then you can, you can derive the, uh, any of the uh, transfer function that according to the certain theta. Okay, so I'm not going to further uh, after this stage because uh, there can be anything any anything so i mean uh, any ca any any form of the transfer function that you want either you want uh, a transfer function that according to the theta 1 for the applied torque or according to the theta 2 for the applied torque or according to the theta uh, theta 3 on the applied torque so depends on the the requirement the requirement for the for the case of as a right for the lessons so i hope uh, you can understand uh, what's the difference between the translational and rotational rotational systems of the mechanical systems okay and then you know how to uh, derive the its uh, model and get the transfer function of both type of uh, mechanical system by using FBD and EMI okay so the, both a method 
as we discussed uh, previously, have a different uh, different uh, perspective, but uh, with the same basics, uh, 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 same basics uh, point of view. Okay, so hope you can do uh, some more uh, practice and examples uh, regarding this uh, section of chapter. And I hope uh, uh, we can see again on the next uh, uh, topics in principal control systems. Thank you.